William Carroll. He was constantly rejected through his life. His mother was jailed as a vagrant. She had two children that she couldn't care for, she couldn't feed, she couldn't clothe, she couldn't house. So these children were taken off her. But even after she got out of jail, she never went looking for them. He was in an Nudgy Orphanage from the age of four. With his older brother, he left William at Nudgy Orphanage and the last that, that William heard of him, he was 18. Um, he put him down as his next of kin on his assessment papers. But when the, when the government tried to find him and advise him that William had been wounded, nobody could find him. And they used to put advertisements in the Courier Mail to see if anybody knew. And this is where Mrs Burke turned up. She said in her writings to the department in Melbourne that she adopted him but there was no formal adoption papers in regards to that. So she was saying, I was virtually a mother to him. And she might have been in some ways, but he was working probably for board and keep. He worked there from the age of about 13, I think. Uh, just a farm hand. I have mixed feelings about Mrs Burke and her intentions. He left his estate to St Vincent's Nudgy. So that sort of says to me that it mustn't have been all bad. He would have learnt farming and, and sort of things like that. He received an education in as much that he could read and write. Not terribly well, but he is probably a typical sort of young person at that age where he says, I left me will to the Nudgy Orphanage if I get blown out. And the Germans shelled them day and night. So, and he was killed in an attack on Mont St Quentin. He was at the, what they called the jumping off point in the trenches on this attack on Mont St Quentin. He never reached the objective, so he was just part of the many that died on that particular attack. I think he, he touched me because I, I felt the loneliness that his life had been, like he'd been neglected, and he still managed to make a man out of himself. And he just seemed such a lonely person that I thought, oh, I really like you. I, he was probably as rough as anything, but he worked, he worked hard all his life. And in his army records, he never had one blemish against him. Never went AWOL, was never charged with anything. He was, I think, an upright sort of fellow. When I went to France in 2013, we found his grave. I'm probably the only person who has consciously visited him, just him, because he's got no family. And I just thought that was terribly, terribly sad that he'd given his life and, and no one had ever acknowledged him.